Thank you for choosing eStar. In this video, we will take S100 as an example to give you quick and simple instructions for installing S series IPPBX. First of all, plug one end of network cable into the LAN port of S100 and the other end to a switch. Then connect the power cord to the power interface and switch the device on. The system indicator lights up. And when the indicator starts flashing, you will know the device has finished booting. The default IP address of S series uses HTTPS protocol, and you need to make sure the IP address of the computer is on network segment 5. We can see the computer is now on the network segment of 6. We need to change it to 5 to log in the web interface of S series IPPBX. The computer's IP address has been changed. Now open the web browser. Fill in the default IP address and press Enter. On login, you will be prompted Certificate Error. Please continue to this page or trust this site to go on. Choose the language and enter the username admin and password password both with lowercase. Click login. For better security, Please change the password on your first login. You can also enter your email address to receive forget password email. The next setting is also about email. This email will be used to receive and send emails for SPBX. Please note that if the PBX want to send emails out, it should have internet access. After these settings, the system will be logged out. Enter the new password to log in. Now change the IP address of SPBX to the local network. When the device is rebooting, we change the IP address of the computer to its original address. The device has restarted. We can log in with the new IP address.
Before creating extensions, you can change the extension range according to your preferences. In here, we change the range to 4 digit numbers starting with 8. Enter the extensions page. The default extensions do not start with 8, so we just delete them. Click Add to add an extension. In extension type, you can choose among SIP, IAX, and FXS. The three types can be checked at the same time, so different terminals can share the same extension number. If SIP is checked, this number can be registered on five IP phones or soft phones simultaneously. If FXS is checked, a port will also need to be selected. If there is no port in the list, it means no FXS module has been installed. Next, connect an analog phone to the above selected FXS port, and extension can be used now. In Features tab, you can configure voicemail, call recording, mobility extension, monitor settings, and other settings. You can also bulk add extensions with at least 100 extensions added one time. SPBS can provision phones from E-Link, Cisco, Polycom, Snom, Grandstream, Panasonic, Fanville, HTAC, and more. Let's take E-Link phones as an example. Connect the IP phones to the local network and enter auto provisioning. Choose an IP phone and click Add it to assign an extension to the phone. IP phones from the same manufacturer with the same model can be added in bulk. After rebooting, the IP phone will be registered as an extension of SPBX. Use extension 8002 to dial extension 8003. The letter rings. Pick up to answer the call. Use analog phone 8001 to dial extension 8002. 8002 rings. Pick up to answer the call. To make and receive external calls, you need to connect to trunks. We will take PSTN trunk as an example. Make sure your PPX has installed the module that has FXO port. Let's connect the PSTN trunk to port 3. Now go to the web interface and check the trunk status. The green check mark means the trunk can be used now. To make external calls, we need to configure outbound route.
Click Outbound route and find the default route. Click Edit. The dial pattern is X dot. With this pattern, extensions can dial out directly. We will keep this default setting. Move the desired trunk to the selected to use this trunk. And move the extensions you need to the selected. Click Save and Apply. Now test the configuration and use extension 8002 to dial a mobile number. And the mobile phone rings. Last of all, we configure inbound route to route incoming calls. Click inbound route and find the default route. Click edit. The trunk in the selected columns can be applied in this route. Let's set the destination as IVR. Click save and apply. Now use a mobile phone to dial the trunk's number. The call is connected and we hear the IVR. Follow the IVR and dial the extension number 8002. 8002 rings. Pick up to answer the call. 